Hello again YouTube and welcome back to the video tutorial series on RPG from scratch. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, again I wanted to reference this book to give credit where credit was due. Um, it's XNA 4.0 Game Development by Example by, by, example, um, by Kurt Jagers I believe is how you pronounce his name. It's a great book. You guys should definitely pick it up if you want to get into um, XNA development some more. Um, in the last tutorial, we went ahead and we created our um, our basic uh, project here, the RPG concept, and we went ahead and we added a new project to it called the Tile Engine Project, and to that we added a new class called Map Cell Content. Now, this Map Cell Content class is basically going to be the um, the contents of the the cells, if you will. You could view the cells as the the spaces waiting to be filled by tiles in the, in the world and the game world itself. <coughs> so um, the first thing to do to this class is to go ahead and add some using directives which will let um, um, uh, uh, will let us access X and A's features um, without having to type in the entire uh, assembly reference. So we start by adding the Microsoft X and A framework. And we will add the Microsoft .xna .framework graphics. So uh, let's see, I had a quick typo there. Framework graphics. That should work good. All right. Now the next thing we want to do to this uh, class is to make it so that the uh, object is serializable. And uh, we'll do that by just before the the uh, the, the the class um, name right up here. We will put in brackets serializable, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty straightforward. That basically what this does is it tells the compiler to treat the map cell content objects that are instantiated um, uh, that will be instantiated. Inst instantiated from the um, level editor um, project that we haven't haven't actually made yet but it'll it'll make it so that the um, the objects that we instantiate from the map cell content class um, are, are able to be transformed into um, what's known as a bit stream uh, we also want this class to be public and uh, the the bit stream is basically what it does is it grabs the binary representation of the object that's in your RAM and it converts it into um, a, a file that on your hard drive so that we can uh, save and then load our um, our maps um, um, when we when we get when we get to that <coughs> excuse me so the the first thing we want to do now is uh, well, we're going to add a region. Kurt actually uh, introduced me to this, and I think it's a great way to organize code. Um, we issue a, a pre-compile um, directive, which is just a pound sign, and we say R-E-G-I-O-N, and we'll name this region um, uh, uh, members, data members. And, and this is just our declaration region. But what this does is... Uh, we, we always surround it in the end region. And what this does is it allows us to minimize uh, the code that we don't want to view, and it, it pops up as this um, nice, easy, easy to read um, label so that we can expand upon it or get it out of our viewing um, range when we, we don't need it. So this is just going to be data members region, and we're going to use this to do some declarations here. The first declaration we're going to do is going to be a, a, an array or you can view it as a list, sort of, of uh, integers. So it's going to be public, public, <laughs> int, um, and we specify that it's array with the brackets, and it's going to be named tile layers equals new int of size two, and. Uh, we need a, a string named teleport index. We're going to go ahead and initialize that to nothing at the point. 
and we also need a public boolean value. Sorry, that should be not capitalized. And we're going to call that is passable and set it to true. Um, and and these these members right here <coughs> are basically going to uh, uh, describe the map cell content object. Um, what we have is a, a list of tile layers, and it, it's currently two. We have two tile layers, but um, each each indexed tile layer. So uh, tile layers zero. If you access this with a zero the, for the index here. Um, will return an integer value which will actually correspond to our source image. Uh, it will be an integer value between 1 to 10. 1 would represent this corner, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 10. And uh, that, that's going to be our, our, our base layer and, and that will fill up the entire world um, first and foremost. And the second layer will be an additional layer. So if we index this with a 1, um, it will be the additional layer which will be basically printed on top of this and, and what we'll do is uh, on the grass tiles mostly we won't um, put anything over the water tile obviously but on the grass tiles we'll um, use the second layer or the index of one because the um, arrays start at zero and they go to up from zero um, so index one would be a layer that would go on top of the grass and that would include such things as um, uh, like uh, castles and gra um, not grass but trees and caves and mountains and uh, volcanoes and all the interesting stuff that we haven't made a source texture for yet um, will be included in, in that second layer. So we'll come back over here and uh, I'm actually running out of time but I think we can probably squeeze out a constructor and I'll, I might have to explain that a little bit better in, in the next uh, tutorial. But what we're going to need here is a constructor. Uh, constructors are public. In this case, it's public anyway. PBLIC. And it's going to be the same name as the, um, the, the class itself. So this is going to be called map, map cell content. And what we do is uh, the, this constructor, it's called a constructor because it has the same name as the class. And what the, all this does basically is it instantiates, it allows us to pass um, um, an int, uh, actually two integer values, a string value and a bool value to, f to basically um, um, set the, uh, the variables for these um, var variables <laughs> really. Um, but let, let's uh, go ahead and, and knock this out real quick. Uh, the, the map cell is going to, uh, the first thing, that, the first argument is going to be an integer argument and it's going to be base tile index and then we'll have another int called additional tile index and then we have a string called teleport index and then we also have a bool that we'll pass in and we'll call that is passable and basically what we do is we use um, these arguments that are passed in through the constructor to set these member um, m member variables <coughs> or these data members or these member variables uh, so what we do here is uh, uh, first and foremost, we'll um, reference tile layer zero for the base equals base tile index, and then tile layers one will equal. Additional tile index, and now this is where it gets a little tricky. If you're not familiar with the this keyword, um, what we do is we say this dot this dot this dot tile tile 
teleport, not teleport, I'm sorry. This dot teleport index refers to this member variable up here. So that's all that this keyword refers to because we're passing in the, the same name um, in the constructor. So we, we differentiate with the this keyword equals equals and we have this dot is passable equals um, is from the constructor and that's all there is to it from the constructor I'm actually out of time guys what I'll do is I'll go ahead and um, explain this some more in the next video and we'll add our uh, our last uh, We'll, we'll actually add a, a region for this because I forgot to do it in this video. And we'll add some public methods to this. Um, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.